Hopefully that's doing good. So look, the title of this one is Don't Let Them Stop Your Manifestation. That is important. That is very, very important to understand. So I know it's a little early here, but I'm doing this live and I want to get information out to you guys to help you guys to understand how this thing called life works and how we create and manifest our dreams and desires. So good morning, good morning. Hello, 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 hello. Nice to see you guys, love you guys here. Hey, 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 Grand Rising, everybody, Grand Rising. So look, first thing I want to address is this, and I want to talk about something. Be good morning, beautiful peeps. How's everybody doing? Hello, everybody. All right, so if you guys have been following uh, my other channel, the Quantum Chosen One podcast, so the channel is still there, but unfortunately, all those videos I put work in to help all of you change your life, all the guests, all the year and a half of the work I did to just motivate and inspire you, all those videos have been deleted. They're gone. Okay? They're gone. They are gone. All right. My co-host, Sonny. Okay. Basically, deleted all those videos. They're all gone. Um, I'm still in shock as I speak right now because I'm thinking about that channel. And I'm thinking about all of you guys that came as guests, all the material I put forth to help you guys, they're all gone, wiped away. Now, why, why, why would someone do this, you may ask? Why would someone do this, you may ask? Well, I'm gonna show you what's gonna going on. I'm gonna teach you right now. So, many of you guys have been following me for years. You guys seen you guys have seen my ups and my downs. You were there four years ago when the thing happened with my group. How people tried to put disinformation, put me down, stop me, take my name, create a website with my own name. Remember that? That website probably still up. Sell my products as me. You've been there, you know if you watch this, you know who you are. My all my supporters. See, thank you. Someone said been following me for years. Thank you, thank you. What happened? I'm about to, I'm about to explain to you what happened right now. Which channel was deleted? My Quantum Chosen One podcast channel. Not this, my main channel. My main channel is here. I'll always be here for you guys, but it was a sub channel. I had a lot of people on there to help. And I also had Patreon supporters on that channel. And for you Patreon supporters, I am so sorry this happened. And the message, you know, it's unfortunate, man, that... um. Still can't believe this, man. I mean, Sonny, my co-host, why wouldn't you just pick up the phone, and call me, say, Mark, what's that? So let me tell you the story. So you guys know I'm very transparent with what goes on in my life, okay? And I'm gonna put you in. I'm gonna let you know what's happened. I was watching a video of you, then I see live notification. Thank you, thank you. It's a learning lesson, yes. What's going on? So let me tell you what's going on. So I started this investment group. I've got 74 investors in there. And I thought it would be a good way to give back to help people generate income. And it's an investment group, of course, trading. So we had a lot of people on there. So the first for the first three months, people were making money. Everything was going good. Everything was going great. Then the brokerage had issues with the liquidators, with paying with with their investors, paying or whatever. So the brokerage, make a long story, the brokerage account uh, was funded by a tech company who was use, using the brokerage as a, a way to just invest. Okay. And so they started having issues. So a lot of the investors, they 
when they would with, when, when they would request for their withdrawals, it would take one week. It would take two weeks. It started taking a month. So some people in the group concocted this idea. Oh, it's a Ponzi scheme. Mark is trying to do this with his with with with, with the investor, Professor A. Oh, they're working together. Okay, you're gonna always have those people, guys. Those are what I call the MPCs, fake spiritual people, in the group. Now keep in mind, these are people in the group that are making money too now. Money over. Make a long story short, a lot of stuff went on. So you know what I did? Got my own lawyer, man. Paid money out of my own pocket to investigate Professor A to make sure everything was legit. Everything came back fine. A matter of fact, matter of fact, this woman, Professor A, when I got with her, I said, look, these people are thinking that this is a scam. We have to do something. That's a lesson I learned. You're right. Never do this in a group. You know what? I'm going to touch on that in a minute too. But anyway, you know what she did? She said, okay, Mark, let's see what we can do. She gave back $35,000, grand of her own money to many of the investors to say, hey, here's your initial investment. Whenever this brokerage firm gets fixed and you get your money back, just kindly forward it back to her. It. Now can I, is that a scam? When someone takes 35k of their own money and give it back to you? Not at all. So we pressed the group, the Forex group, uh, the brokerage firm. Probably many of you, probably some of you watching this were investors in there. Yep. Anyway, so I pressed them. We got, someone says I lost 1 million Philippine pesos. Yeah, it happens. But with this group, it wasn't like that. because. You know, these, it wasn't like a, a million dollar thing with the investors. It's a big, it's a big company. And I had a lawyer that did it. You know, they have issues. Anyway, to make a long story short, everything came back. She gave out 35000 Now, she pressed the brokerage. We got a response on the brokerage. They emailed, so they're going to do audits. And long story short, everyone should be able to get their initial investment back. But of course, there's going to be one or two people in there that's going to spread the rumors and this is what happened right crazy stuff mark is doing this mark is doing that da 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 okay anyway got back to uh, my co-host sunny you know she asked me and i told her it was what it was she didn't call hey mark what's happening a good friend of mine that's why it's always gonna have the good friends a good friend of mine Message me, say, Mark, your channel has been deleted, all the videos. Now, look, here's the big picture, guys. It's not about me. It's about you. If someone can delete all of this work that was made for you, what does it say about that person? Think about that. Forget about Mark. Mark's going to be fine. What does it say about that person? That delete all this content that a lot of you wrote emails and say mark this has changed my life you know who you are you've been on that podcast are you and sunny not going to work together anymore i can't i can't work with someone like that anymore it gets even better can't even work with someone like that anymore people that complain about those help those help don't do not want for others not you but that's usually the outcome that's correct i love your content always support you thank you guys I love you guys. You guys are always supporting. And you know me, I'm always transparent. And this is why I'm telling you this. And I'm, I'm putting it out. And I want the, the Patreons. And okay, let me continue, guys. So my all my videos, man, the work I did for you guys, gone. Now, here's what gets crazy, man. I have another channel that I work with another creator. And I build that channel up too. The channel has a lot of subscribers. Guess what? That channel with the creator I work with, all my videos deleted too. Guess who is running the channel now with their own thing? My co-host Sonny. <laughs> okay, I can't make this up, man. Take my glasses off. I can't make this up. 
I introduced Sonny to the creator of that channel. I'm not going to call his name. It's not even, I'm not going to mention his name. It's not even, I'm not going to worry. And he has a big channel himself. And I, he's, I said, hey, he can help you to grow the Quantum Chosen One Pocket. He can show you YouTube algorithm. So I left him to talk and everything. He was an investor in the group as well. Guess what happened? Both of them, I don't know, collided and guess what? My the channel I had, I'm did she took over it now. So I ask you a question. Is this about character? Is this about helping the people or is this about money or greed? Well you tell me. Look guys. There's things you got to understand when you work with people. You don't see the inside of people. You only see what you do on a podcast. Okay? And for you in the Patreon who supported that channel, the Quantum Chosen One podcast, the letter she wrote accusing Mark Houghton of fraud, of, of um, misleading, and da-da-da-da-da by my name, mention my name, all that stuff to, to you supporters in there. I got one thing to say. It's unfortunate. Sorry it happens. And now you know the story. If you look, there's two things you can do, guys. There's going to be people all the time attacking you. And there's what, a couple of persons in there writing crazy stuff. You know who you are. If you don't like or resonate with what I'm teaching, you can just follow and there's the unfollow button. You can go unfollow me. Look, the energy these people use to try to fame and bring me down guys is the same energy they can use to deliberately create their life they don't see that they don't see that the energy they're using to spread misinformation and put doubt is the same energy they can use to inspire and create it's not gonna stop me so I'm talking to you whoever is spreading this stuff you're not gonna stop me cuz I'm gonna continue to create motivate and help people there's too many people's lives I'm helping, and it's, it's, it's my purpose. It's, I can't do this. I can't stop this stuff. So you know what I always say, guys, right? Every rejection is for a protection. Every disappointment is for a good. So I sit here right now, and someone asked me this. One of you guys commented. Someone said, I knew Sonny was obsessed with money from day one. See, the real, the real people, the real ones know what's going on. See, I'm not going to put people out, but if you're going to put me out, I'm going to, I got to put back, man. Mark is being a nice, good guy. Time now for Mark to just put back. Don't you agree? Of course you agree. Look, man, I want to say this too. You guys did the raffle, correct? Remember the raffle we did on a Quantum Chosen One podcast? That wasn't Mark's idea, guys. That was brought up by my co-host. You know all the money you put to the raffle? None of that went to Mark, guys. It went to my co-host, PayPal, to organize everything. So I encourage you to email my co-host and for her to do the ethical thing and return all of your donations you made towards that. And for the winner of that raffle... I am still going to hold my obligation and I'm still going to meet you and we're still going to interact as a part of it. So you can you can email me, you can connect with me, you'll see this video of course and we'll still do our thing. I'm going to hold my part of the party. But when I think about it man, it shocks me man that I worked with this person for over a year. And like I said, I knew stuff but I didn't just didn't do it. And someone said that someone said the right thing man. Hey, so glad to see you this morning. Someone says, I can't believe it. Well, hey, I, I, what do you think? I couldn't believe it. Go look at the channel. All the videos are deleted. It's like five videos I have there from like four years ago. I just I put those up. But you know what? I am going to continue. I'm going to go back and build that channel. I'm going to keep a podcast. I'll do it myself. I'll get another host. But I'm going to continue because it's so valuable to help you guys. And I'm going to continue. And I got a message for you guys, for the ones who are trying to... If, if you don't like or you're you're unhappy or you feel you've been jaded some way, hit the unfollow button. Beep. Unfollow. 
take the energy that you put out and try to bring people down and use it to better your life. Because authentic people will see through it. The real ones will know when someone's trying to write something about, oh, this guy did this. They try to bring up stuff, your past and all that stuff. Past is gone. People are changed, reborn. Everything happened. Everyone is is right now, is the, is the moment of now. You don't judge people. You know, there are people who do that. What does it say about them? Unfortunately, someone says, what about the ones I saved? Good. If you save those, congratulations. Maybe you can send them and I can upload them. Some people try to smear me. Yep. I picked up on it first time. Thank you. Can't believe this just caught you live. I, I, what do you think I am? I couldn't believe this. That, look, it's deeper than that, man. It's a show about P, how people work, man. Look, if this was about the collective and what you say, oh, it's about the people. You don't delete these empowering, life-saving videos. Shows it's about you. You don't go smear me in front of my Patreon supporters. Write these misinformation claims about me. Then you go to another channel that I create and work with that person and start that channel behind my back and kick me out of my own channel. What type of person do, does that? Is that authentic? I want you guys to tell me. I'm being real open and honest right now. You tell me that. Because if it is, I'll sit back and I'll say, okay, I'm sorry. Someone go ahead, tell me. Go ahead, you tell me, guys. Exactly. Like I say, guys, some people, you will, listen, let me give you something. Let me teach you something. You will know the, the real ones who are authentic, and you'll know the other ones who are money. You can't hide that. You can't hide, you can't hide who you are. You follow me for years. You know me. I pour my heart into this stuff, man. This is what I live for. This is what I love to do. You know, it excites me to see people win, change their life. Lot of, when I see stuff like that, it makes me feel good, man. I don't know. Am I weird for doing that? I'm thinking right now, is that is that weird of me to just love to see people succeed? Is that is something wrong? Is Am I off here? Because I'm, I'm doing a reality check on myself, man. What's her name? Because we can't take her power now. No, no, no. I don't want you guys. We're not going to do any retaliation. We're just, I'm just want to be transparent. And this is going to be for the ones that, that were on with a Patreon, the ones that were supporting the Patreon monthly. Uh, that's it. And for you guys and all that. But I just want to know, man. That's what I want to know, man. Is it, is it, is it wrong to want to see people succeed? Is it, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm in doing this live right now. And as I'm talking to you, I'm still in shock. Still in shock. Still in shock. What happened to Deliberate Creators videos? That's the channel. They took that channel and gave it a new name. Sunny Island something. It's called Sunny Island now. That's the channel they took from me, guys. Booed me out of that channel. Rebe Removed all my videos, all of it. The ones that helped you guys, all of it, gone. Because of unfathomed negative person that someone wrote. All of it, man. Those two things I worked so hard to help you guys with, gone. Took that channel now, it's called whatever, Sunny Island Pot, whatever she called it now. It's there, that's that. You t what is that, guys? Is that authentic? She deleted. Well, she, I think she could have deleted. She would have deleted my the podcast channel if she could, but I didn't give her the authority to delete it. But she she deleted all the videos, man. The other videos. That's what hurt the most. The work for all and all of you guys who were guests on there, all of you guys' questions were answered, all of the things that are coming in to help you guys is all gone. But there's always good news because I'm still here and I'm still going to pump it out. I'm just going to do it a different form. 
But yeah, someone asked me earlier. She he said, Mark, you shouldn't do stuff with with that with that. You know? And there's people in here like, oh Mark, you're this camera. Like, who's this guy right here? Linko, Mark, you're this camera. This is what I'm talking about. People like this. If they can use that energy, they should take that energy. And they should go ahead and do it themselves. Mark, I've been watching your videos. I think this is just a sign that better is coming. Whatever happens for a reason, you need to learn something from it. Yep. You know, that's a question. So I had a good friend of mine. She's probably watching this. We talked and she said to me, I said, I said to myself, I said, you know what? Maybe I should stop doing stuff like this to help people in groups. Because it's, it's just, like, it seems it comes back to me. When you help people, it just doesn't seem to work like that. And she said to me, she said, no, you know what? You shouldn't, you shouldn't stop. Because that's what they want. They want you to stop. So I thought about it. So would I do this again? And the answer is, I think I would. But I'd do it a little different. Because I think about all the people that helped. And I can't let one person stop me from doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And the lesson here is for you guys too. You can't let one person or people that you or people change, man. People things happen, man. You can't let them stop you, man. Because that's what they want. They want to, they want to they, that's why the title is don't let them stop you from manifesting. Because there are people out there that they are into the spiritual world not because they're spiritual they're into the spiritual world because of the opportunity they can get from it let me repeat that they're not in it because they're spiritual they're in it for the opportunity you can get from it let that sink in yeah someone says this happened for Mark not to him exactly it happened for me but I, you know, I always know this. Look, every rejection is a protection. How long does it take to win the lottery? Someone says it's already been a year. All right, when you're gonna manifest the lottery, a year is an a logical concept. It doesn't work in actual reality, guys. For you to create what you want, is it has to be in the moment of now. So if you're focusing on a year, you're gonna meet a lot of resistance. going to create a lot of resistance someone says mark is this a depleting thing that happens to you you know, the interesting thing is and i was thinking about that you know four years ago um from what i've gathered from all this stuff is here's the lesson i learned when you are on your life purpose and you're building and doing stuff you're supposed to do the unfortunate facts is take my shades off the unfortunate fact is there are people out there that are going to prey on you that are going to want to collaborate and do stuff with you and they're going to come at you innocent as if they want to help and majority of these people they're only in it for themselves and they'll just try to use you and take advantage clear example four years ago right clear example so that's something i just learned and that's going to happen you know the thing guys look at whenever you're on your purpose there are going to be things that are going to happen in your life that are going to stop you or try to stop you, okay? That's the thing I learned about this journey here. Not everything that glitters is gold. The thing about me, though, is I have such an open heart and I don't judge people and I tend to just help, try to help people. So, you know... It's going to happen. So someone asked a great question here. Here it is. This is an interesting one here. Didn't you manifest those haters? Shouldn't you go within to fix it? That's an excellent question. So here's the answer to that. Remember this, okay? We have animate, inanimate in this universe. Animate are individuals with free will and free consciousness. Inanimate, things like rocks, material, things you can't comprehend. So when it comes to people, you cannot always control what people will do. Remember, guys, what I said before, the what? The dark will always seek the light out. So it's not that you are attracting it to yourself or you need to fix anything. 
It's just that when you are someone that's on a higher vibration, you're going to attract things that are lower vibration that's going to want to get a piece of that. And when they can see that they're not going to get a piece of that, that's when they hate the torment and stuff comes in. So you don't need to fix anything. You got to keep doing what you're doing. You just have to understand that this is something that will happen. Right? The universe is happening for you. That's correct. Someone says, but everyone is you pushed out. How? That's a great one too. But here's the truth about that. Everyone is not you being pushed out. It can't be. Because every individual has their own free will on a collective. Again, look guys, if you're someone that's, if you're attracting, like if you're a good person, you're doing your thing, you're attracting haters and all this stuff, people like that, there's nothing wrong with you. There's, you don't need to fix anything. Actually a good thing. It shows that you're on the right path, you're doing your thing because someone is jealous, they're hating, they don't like what you're doing. So when that happens, you have to understand the bigger principle of human psychology, how the mind works and how conscious works. I do not believe everyone is you pushed out. No, it can't. It can't. It can't. You can't be everyone that's pushed out, guys. Because how the universe works on a collective consciousness, everything is on a branch, a fractal. Your consciousness is consciousness. The, the simple answer to all of this is: when you're someone that's doing what you're supposed to do, or you're doing your thing, there's always going to be someone that's going to try to pull you down. That's the bottom line. It's going to happen all the time. I mean, it happens a lot. Everyone it happens to more than you think. But, you know, my channel, I just like to be transparent with you guys. Just keep you guys informed. That's it. So don't, don't, get, don't get the wrong idea. Now, the people you are in relationship with are a reflection of your inner landscape. Right? And not Jane Blow in general, okay? The light attract moths to correct. NPCs, yep. Positive and negative energy. True indeed, yep, yep, yep. That's correct, my guys. That's correct, everybody. The universe moved them out of the way. Yep. So I, the lesson in this is for you guys to understand that, look, if you're doing something in your life, you're creating it. But you know, now here's the key now, you know in your heart that what you're doing, and you can go to sleep at night with a clear conscience, don't worry about it. The universe will work it out. Because there's one thing with, with people, especially you guys, spiritually minded people, you're not like regular people, okay? A highly tuned, spiritual, enlightened person that you guys are that's watching this channel. You have super intuition. You can sense when someone is real, someone is fake. You have the ability. Has an ability. Most people are so money hungry. Now look, I'm just saying this to just be transparent. I just want you guys to understand how human nature and things work. That sometimes you're going to meet these parallels in your life that you have to still push. There are always going to be the yin and the yang, the negative and the positive. But the big picture is, here's the big picture I want you to understand. You may be experiencing this in your life. People may try to tear you down at your job or anything, or they're making jealous of you, hating on you. Ask yourself this question. Why do they do that? Why do people, like for example, if somebody's comments, why do people write negative comments? Why do people do these things? What's the point of all that? Why do people do these things? I'll tell you the answer why people do these things. It's about human psychology. You see, most of these people that do these things, they are empty within themselves. Empty as the, as the fact that they don't feel they have a purpose, and they don't have any drive, and they don't feel that they deserve stuff. And that's why they will lash out to put other people down to make themselves feel better. It's just a human, it's human psychology, jealousy. You ask that all the time, then there's the answer. Now, how do you fix that? Well, you don't really fix that. I want 70000 on scratch. Congratulations. But my self-belief <clears throat> has gone. Your self-belief hasn't gone. Your, your ego mind is doubting you. You can still do it. If you did it before, you'll do it again. Um, the thing is, oh, my point was there, yeah. 
We have to put, realize the power of things. Yeah, happy with themselves. They're not happy with themselves. So when someone's not happy with themselves, it's going to show in a lot of areas. Um, and that's why people lash out. My life. Here's the thing that you got to understand. When you're manifesting and you're doing your dreams and your goals, there are going to be people that are going to come in your life and they're going to try to stop it. They're going to put hate on you and doubt on you. You don't try to fix those people. or don't, You don't try to prove anything to those people. You have to stay true to yourself. Because how things work is, remember how the universe works. It's, a, what's a, it's called a self-correcting code. A self-correcting code is a infinite intelligence system that organizes and knows everything to put in place plus your higher self. Mm -hmm. Yeah, money hungry, I wouldn't say money hungry, but money is a potential, you got that right. Mm -hmm. My friend, someone called my friend, was supposed to help me with a new car over a year ago and I've been without a car for over a year. My husband helped me and lost 14K. She wasn't here to help me out. This is why you got to stay silent. Got to unsub her. Well, I mean, man, I don't know. I'm just, you know, the, the main thing is all of this, guys. I don't care. If you have something personal with me, let it be with me. Don't let it affect the community of people that uses vital information to change their lives. You know, I get these emails every day. And the reason I'm, I do this is because of you, because I see the success. I see how people's lives are changing, man. I see, I get it every day. Every day, and I see, wow, this is really impacting people's lives. That means I have to keep doing this, man. Mark, is it possible to talk, um, what's it, HS about lottery win via hypno hypnotize? Why are we put here? I mean, the thing is, Good question. Why are we put here? Okay, this is how we, you understand how this stuff works, guys. You've always been here, but you may not remember. Remember now, your energy. You cannot be created or destroyed. You know, there's a groundbreaking um I'm gonna get this right for you so you can understand this stuff. I want to see to put it in a way you can understand. Alright. So this, these physicists just won the Nobel Prize recently, two a couple weeks ago, right? This, just won the Nobel Prize. They won the Nobel Prize for what? For showing that reality basically doesn't exist. It's a hologram in layman's terms. The, the article says, uh, shows that the universe is non-local, non-locality. In layman's terms, it just basically means that we are creators of our reality based on our perception. So answer your question when you're, you're here, you're here for an experience to learn or to do something. Each individual perceives and uh, reacts to a collective. So just because you're a creator of your reality doesn't mean you're a creator of a particular person's reality. Because remember, they're independent consciousness as well. But there's a thing that connects all of us is called the collective subconscious. Right? Exactly. So because we're connected to this collective subconscious, uh, we can influence. But the groundbreaking thing, guys, is look, we can change our world because reality is real. This this just happened. It won a Nobel Prize for this. I don't know why this is not all over the, the, the internet. And this is what I've been teaching them same people for years. And also someone asked me what happened to the Deliberate Creators channel. That's the channel she took over, man. They changed it. They did all the videos on that channel. They made it a Sunny Island channel, whatever. How could someone do that to you? How, how would someone do that to me, right? That's the question I ask. See that? Does your love life affect your manifestation? And is she also spiritual? Does your love life well, your love life affects your manifestation, of course, because your partner, if your partner is not open, if not receptive, then it's going to affect you. You are, you, you're going to manifest, <clears throat> okay, whoever your closest associates are, the closest people you're with, you hang around all the time, they're going to affect how you create your world. 
you should sue her. No, I'm not gonna sue her. I'm not gonna do any of that stuff. It's not that. It's not that. It's not that deep. I mean, uh, see, that, that, that's that's what the ego wants me to do. To go, go after her. Uh, you should have done that. But listen, guys, remember what I said. The universe is a self-correcting code. Remember that. The universe takes care of everything. You just gotta focus on you and do what you gotta do. Like I said. If you know in your heart you're doing the right thing, you got nothing to worry about. I just wanted to be transparent here because I want you guys to know. Because you may go to the channel, you don't see the channel. You say, hey, what happened to all the videos? Are some people NPCs? Yeah, <clears throat> most people are. I was watching your video on detachment. <clears throat> Can you tell me how to zero the need for what I desire? <clears throat> yep, all right. So, if you want to detach from anything, okay, it's about placement and state of being. So, what do I mean by that? When you want to release something from your life or something you desire, you have to make that thing equal or even below you. So, when you think about like the big stuff you want to create, like I go back, was it 2016 when I won the first Fantasy V prize right there, right? <clears throat> back then, when I was manifesting that 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 win to buy the car, right? It was much. It was so bigger than me, man. When I first started, it was bigger than me, and I made a lot of resistance. So what I did was, I started to understand how quantum physics work, how the mind works. I was like, wait a minute, Mark. This is just a particle. This is just like an illusion, right? The same materials that may comprise the lottery or your car or anything is the same material that comprise you. So what's not to say that you're a part of it? And as I got acclimated to that, as I started to build more belief into that, then I noticed like the lottery started to shrink. It started to become like a believable and easy thing for me. And before you know it, the lottery to me was like a normal thing now. Like I expected and I deserved to win. And that's the secret it comes back to. I have to, I started to bring things into normality. See that? Normality. So when you bring something, to detach from something, you have to make it as normal as possible. You have to make it as if it's supposed to happen. It's not this big, out of reach or hard thing. You have someone say, oh, it's hard. Yeah, I'm not going to say it's easy, but your ego is what's hard. So what you got to understand is, the, the what will help you to understand it to making it hard is the science behind it, the proof, right? When you can see science, you can see some facts in it, it's going to make you see things a lot better now and that's the secret to this stuff is to understand the science behind it that's right always remember guys the universe is a self-correcting code you don't have to go revenge from people someone do you wrong you don't have to go try to retaliate on them because when you do something like that the energy you're putting back out to that person is what you're going to create for yourself the universe fixes all that P people always get get what they want bro people trust me they always come back. Maybe six months, a year, or whatever. They they always goes around. Remember, I've been through this four years ago, and I've seen people that did me do this. They all come back, begging, and, "Oh, Mark, can I please? I'm sorry, I did. Can you help me? Can you coach me? I, I realize, whatever. But it's gonna come back, and they're gonna. It's always comes back. Always come back. Someone says, "I don't even know who she is." That's good then. So that's good. It's, it's just, it's just. This is for the, for my Patreons that was on that channel. And you're wondering what happened, and. And that's what it is. And now for, for anyone else, like, like I said, guys, it's free world. If you don't believe and want to follow me, just hit the unfollow button and do. But to take your energy and instead of hating on people, take that energy and use it to create and help yourself. Because when you hate on somebody else, you're just hating on yourself. Yeah, people get what they deserve, bottom line. So I just had to address this because... Some of you watch the channel. It's not, I know I'm not a majority of you, but I, I don't want to leave my uh, my family here in the dark and say, "Oh, what's going on, Mark?" So you know, you know how you know how that goes, and that's and that's why I did that. Mark, I need your help because I got some uh, little heritage left. Just want to invest it right. Jamaica, please contact me. Really do need your advice. You can just email me. You find my email. I put it in the computer. Mark, I had a dream spirit came in front of my door and gave a girl a dollar or two. Then another girl came and gave me a lot of coins 
they drop on the floor does this represent a lottery so with the lottery thing it represents the lottery if that's what you're desiring to create remember what I said about stuff guys whatever you're going to create and you repeat it a lot your mind will put you in entanglement with it so I'll use the lottery if you want to win the lottery and you're playing and it's something you desire and something you believe and you have your budget and you're not attached to it you got you get a dream that's a confirmation remember the universe and your subconscious mind is always looking to show you more of what you're focusing on and eventually that focus is going to create what a pattern that pattern gets sunk into the subconscious that's what we call impressing impression of the subconscious mind that's what so when I talk about you got to impress your subconscious mind that's what I mean you have to have a, a specific consistent pattern this pattern now becomes a belief in the subconscious now not in your conscious your conscious is gonna have a belief you're gonna have awareness but this is important because in the subconscious it becomes a belief that's what you want that's why I encourage people I said look if you have a dream or a goal don't stop just because your life your in your outside world says oh man it'll never happen you can't see a way out you don't stop guys because it's the mental that creates the physical the, remember the physical is always a feedback loop right remember the physical is a feedback so if you have something like that you have to keep the mental picture going and that's going to create the pattern the pattern is going to impress your subconscious remember now your subconscious works behind the scenes so it's to you, it may not look like things are going right. Like, man, I'm never going to succeed. I'm never going to get that. It's never going to happen for me. But little do you know that in your unconscious mind, it's getting ready to fulfill your every desire. And it happens like that before you even know it. So don't lose hope. Hey, Mark, how do I delete the Patreon thing? Are we going to get it back? I'll keep it up. Uh, you can just 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 de delete the Patreon. Just tell them that you just delete it. You go in and delete the Patreon, man. Just tell them you don't want it anymore. And when I get that channel back, I mean, I have the channel back. I just have to now put more content in there. It's just like all those videos I did for a year and a half, man. It's just they're gone, man. And that's that's the, that's what's disheartening about this whole thing. It's not, you know, it's uh, whatever she did, she did. I don't even mean, you know. But it's the thing that it's you guys to help you guys. The information out there for you that we put in work. It just shows you people's true intent. All that is gone, and um, that 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 that's what that what that's what hurts me the most. Because there was so much material, so much information on that channel. So many people were, man. So many people were just benefiting, man. So many people are benefiting, man. Is the Illuminati deleting your work? Hey man, I don't know. Could be bro. <laughs> Could be part of it. I don't know. I love you, man. I started watching you almost exactly four years. You're one of my good yeah, so if you guys watch before years, you know what's happening. <laughs> Someone says she wants to go to Jamaica too. Uh you guys are you guys are the greatest. You guys are good. You can create even better content. Yeah, yeah, I can. Um what it's just a, it's a it's a lesson you learn and that's why you know you know as, as I said guys I teach stuff that as I go along and it'll help you too because some maybe some of you are going through something like this in your own in your own way I don't know I don't know if any of you so I'm that channel let reach out to me guys if any of you guys ever downloaded those videos from the channel from the episodes if you have them let me know send them to me and I can re-upload them to the channel because I know many of you may have saved some of these videos <coughs> That'll be great. So that you can get there because I mean I look back, there was so many great content, so many good guests on there, man. Hi Mark, greetings from Germany. Finally catch your live. Yes, yes, yes. How do we send them to you? Just email me. You can email me. I'll put uh in the comments, I'll put my email for the if you have those episodes so I can re-upload them. Right? Yeah, so we can I, I can re-upload them at least get some of those back because I know many of you some of you have so this is just a also a, an information out there to many of you maybe you save some of these videos I can put them I can put them back up there but for you guys you know always remember man 
but you, you don't like someone, you don't like them, just unfollow them. That's it. Don't put energy and try to hate on people because it's only going to come back to you. Trust me. So anybody you see write negative comments, just look at them. Analyze them and say, man, the energy you're using, you could just... Does other people's negative energy interfere with our manifestation? Yes, it can. But if if you are allowing it to, meaning by that, their energy will affect you if you start to... Remember what I said, guys? The two words, right? Observe, but don't what? Absorb. Observe, don't absorb. Observe, don't absorb. So you're going to always observe people's energy around you. Trick is don't absorb it. So Mark, what does Mark mean by absorb? It means like, don't take it onto your personality. Don't take it personal. Don't let it sink in. Okay, listen. Here's a secret for you to, to anything you want to do in your life. Here's it, guy. The, this is the this is the, the link right here. When you're doing something and you believe in you're doing it, and then in your like your heart and your mind, you know what you're doing is true, and you, and you whatever your purpose and passion is, you let it go. So, example: if a negative person comes around you, because you have negative people, you have uh, toxic. You have all these individuals that that's how they feed. They feed off of you like that. Narcissists. So an example of a narcissist. A narcissist will map you out. They will what they call they will uh what they call tune you in. Right? Or they what we call they groom you. So they'll watch your ways and they'll see, okay, this person's a good person. So I'll use what they have to make them even better. So they'll start showing with a lot of compliments and telling you, oh, you're so this, you're that. Because that's, that's how narcissists work. And once they discover you, they'll start to take what you have and then use it against you and try to tear you down. But you, are, you already know, right, that you're a good person and you do stuff correct, right? But sometimes they can affect you. And that's what I mean, absorbing you. And, you know, they can create a lot of what we call reality distortion. They create gaslighting. They start to make you question your own self. Good. So, Mark, I have five of your videos on my Miracle Mind playlist and probably other ones. Oh, that's awesome. If it's from the Quantum Chosen One podcast, send it. This is from Nexo 06. Yeah, thank you. From the, If you guys have any videos that you save from the Quantum Chosen One podcast, any episodes, feel free to message me. You can meet me on Instagram, Facebook, email. And I'll upload those to the channel. Okay? We'll get back on track. We're not going to let one couple people s s slow us down. We're going we're gonna to continue to do our thing. I knew off rip. She was not authentic. She had no understanding of nothing. Well, no. I'm going through it as well. People go through it. The thing I love about you guys, man, is that and this is the great thing about when you're truly spiritual and enlightened. You can see beneath the BS. And that's the great thing about this. Yeah, so the email address, guys, will be, I think it'll be Houghton Vibrational Numbers at gmail.com. I'll put it, I'm gonna put the pin comment there when I finish this video. And you can, if you have any video saved from the Quantum Chosen One podcast. Send it so I can re-upload it because these these videos I you guys know this has helped so many of you so many that's why you were guest on here so many of you the why my video yeah I, I should a lot of you guys will save it I looked at my play places and your videos are not there I guess you can only retrieve downloaded videos unfortunately yeah. Part of why I follow you, Karma will rock them. Yeah, right on, people, right on. You guys are awesome. Thanks for your support. But my main message is, and you should be. This is your message to people who are against you. Just tell them this. Look, it's like an algorithm. If they don't like you, tell them just to boop, unfollow you, like you do on the social media. So start telling people that. Unsubscribe, bro. Unsubscribe if you don't like me. Because the energy you used to hate on hate on me or put me down, it's only going to come back to you. I may have to today, may not even tomorrow, but somewhere down the line, 
going to bite you back. So I want to say this again. If you participated in the raffle to meet me, and this is for people in the Quantum Chosen One podcast, you can go ahead and email, and that she has it in there somewhere, Sunny, so that she can give you guys back your raffle investment. As I said, the raffle money did not go to Mark. It went to her PayPal. It was to organize the meet and greet. Obviously, that's not happening. She deleted all the videos, left the channel, started a whole new channel with someone else that I had created. All this stuff. You, if, you, if you just joined live, you watched the video from the beginning, that's the ethical thing to do. And you know who you are. A lot of you guys were in that raffle. And I said, the winner of the raffle, I'll still hold my obligation. I'll meet you. Because this is what I'm here for. Mm -hmm. That's right. You don't know how or when to come back. I play the lottery every day. Five bucks a day, it will manifest. It will 100% manifest. If you have a budget, guys, and you play the lottery and you you visualize it you're gonna win I guarantee you down like you're going to win because you're self creating the pattern it's the secret about this stuff it's the pattern 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 everything in the universe is pattern recognition that pattern recognition software when you do something and this is why you know if you can play online you play online but if you can go out in the physical world and play do that too because it has so much power on your subconscious you can be at the right place at the right time you gotta remember Nobel Nobel Prize just wanted to show that reality is malleable. They proved it now. Physicists now know that the universe isn't local lo locality. It means that, that what they're saying in limits terms is the universe isn't here. It's somewhere else being projected here. That's what that that's what the whole thing is about. That means hologram, right? That means perception. I mean, this is this is very empowering, man. Think about that. I sent you the link to the Nobel Peace Prize winner's article on quantum entanglement. Good. Yes. Yeah, yeah, somebody has the link. You could go read the link. Uh, you could post it in the comment section. So if anyone is interested, they could go read it as well. Because it's good to be informed. Okay. We're in a simulation, guys. 2022. Groundbreaking laws in physics just shows that our reality is an illusion. And this has been saying for hundreds of thousands of years. Remember from those teachers... The Buddha, highly spiritual gurus, even native tribes, Dogon's been saying this for thousands of years. Civilization's been saying this before. They knew in, innately that the universe was within them. That spirit, that's called spirituality. Spirituality is when you go within. See that? And now we know that. Wow, what a what a beautiful day, man. And I'm surprised this is not even all, all CNN. Well, it's not going to be there because people are like, oh, well, i got to continue my life anyway. I mean, Mark, how's this going to help my life, man? Oh, Mark, how's this going to help my life, bro? Da, 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 da. Well, I'm going to tell you how it's going to help your life. Knowledge is power. Once you just understood what I just said to you, that you can change your reality <laughs> literally by changing your mindset. That's proven now. That's no longer a pseudoscience. That's no longer like, oh, what does those positive people say? Now it's a fact. That's very empowering right that's going to make you want to do some work now right it's going to make you visualize more right right think about that guys yes unsubscribe yeah that's why I'm trying unsubscribe to anything someone says I unsubscribe to anything related to the foolishness I'm focusing that's what all of you guys should do guys the word is look just focus on what you want Mark, why didn't you vet Sunny? She didn't know nothing, 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 <laughs> nothing. Sorry, this happened. Ah, uh, that's a great question, but I, you know, man, be honest with you. When she messaged me on Instagram and she put me on her first podcast, I was like, okay, this person knows spiritual stuff. And then we started doing a podcast episode. Just, you know, everything was going cool and good, but. 
you know, I'm a person like this, man. Like, I hold judgment on you and I give you the benefit of the doubt because I know that no one's perfect. And maybe I should have vetted more. But as I said, every disappointment, every rejection is for protection. So it happens and you know remember now everything happens for you not to me it's for you so it's just a good thing it's gonna it's my benefit it's a teaching moment it's gonna help people but i mean you could vet people man sometimes you know people change man it's just people change man yeah everything is for you that's correct oh yeah thank you i gotta take it down from my featured channel on my page yeah thanks for reminding me that yeah i'll do that too yeah Sorry, thank you guys. See, that's why you guys are here. You're so helpful. You guys are here. The best way to manifest anything is not to care anymore and focus on yourself, guys. That's the best thing to do. And it's always remember, if someone don't like you, it's okay. Tell them to just unfollow you, man. Just tell them straight up. Say, look, if you don't like me, man, just go ahead. I'm not. They, they know because the energy they're putting out is only going to hurt themselves they're taking all this energy creating something mischief mischievous try to bring you down they don't understand that uh, that energy drains them more than the positive energy you know you know how many people would just be successful if they take all that hating energy and just use it for something good think about that right you know what i'm saying think about that I just have to be honest, guys. Look, the only thing that really gets me on this whole thing, and I don't care. I don't care what what the misinformation they're trying to say and put this stuff out and all that. I look at the big picture, man. It's the information that I had for you guys. Those countless videos. That's the thing. Why would someone do that? If it's, I'm just. Can you answer that for me? I just don't. All I want to know. Why would you do that? How would you do? That's what I'm saying. The big picture is, if, okay, if you have something with someone, you guys aren't in this. The information is there for you. You guys go to the videos. That's what, that's, you know, that's what my friend says. She said, you know, Mark, it's the fact that all those videos were not even about her or even about Mark. Mark, I'm, I'm just a medium that's used to transfer information to you guys. It's about you. I'm a tool. The universe is using me to put this information to you. So it's not even that. It's about you. It's about the ability that you can go back to this and then watch a video and remind yourself to uplift you, to see someone's success. That's what it's about, man. And that is the thing that just makes makes me feel some type of way. I guess we're gone. But it is what it has happened. You got to move on. As I said, if you're one of those haters, you're one of those NPCs that don't like it and you want to put mark down my advice for you hit the unsubscribe button go get on with your life because I'm not gonna stop I got a mission to do and I gotta finish my mission so you ain't with me you're against me go ahead bye That's it, people. That's that. I mean, you you guys are here live. C comment. Let me know. Am I is, is, is that something I'm saying wrong? You gotta be like Mark. No, because you're gonna have them. I repeat it. If you're a hater, if you're someone that's spreading these misinformation, if you're someone that has your own concoction, if you're someone that's jealous and you don't want the da da da, you're trying to bring up people's past and do this and all this stuff and saying this and then examine yourself. And just unsubscribe, man. And go on with your life. Because I tell you what, the more energy you put in when someone's doing good, it's going to come back to you the opposite. Remember that. Yeah, it's a Quantum Chosen One podcast channel. So I'm... Um, uh, this will be posted on my regular channel. Mm -hmm. 
Mark, is it possible to talk to higher self about lottery via hypnosis? Oh, okay, I got what you're saying. Okay, that's the question you're asking me. Of course, guys, of course, guys. Look, look, guys, look. Remember, groundbreaking Nobel Prize. The universe is not local. Someone, the physicists discovered that the universe is not here. It's a projection. So what we're seeing is not actual true. It's a figment. It's a, a, it's a hologram, guys. Think about that. Where's your higher self located? Another dimension. How do you get information? From that dimension. So you can always use your higher self to get anything, to win the lottery. I, it's, that's what I do, how you get information, higher self, how you be at the right place at the right time, higher self. So I encourage you, talk to your higher self. Mark, how do I talk to my higher self? Question format, out loud, just like things. You talk, you listen, observe, watch. Your higher self always gives you patterns and signs. Always, always, always. You gotta watch for that because it's gonna come out. And if you're aware of it, no. Okay, let me give you an example. Check this out. I'm gonna show you how higher self work. This happened to me a few days ago. Okay, listen to this. All right. So, in August, right before my trip to Jamaica, in August, I think I had like a cold. A cold went away. Okay. And after, let's see. So I'm gonna show you how powerful your higher self is. I hope you gotta watch. So after that, I went to Jamaica. You guys know I went to Jamaica. And I came back from Jamaica. And before I went to Jamaica though, I noticed like, I think I had a slight ear infection. Cause at night when I would sleep, there'd be like, you know, little fluids coming out of your ear. And then I started getting this ringing, not the download ringing, but like it's called tetanus ringing in my ear. And even now as I'm talking to you, I'm still getting this ringing in my ear. And I'm like, okay, so I know where the ringing came from is because I had an ear infection. So, and the fluids were, you know, when you're congested, you get fluids that are coming in. So I said, okay, let me go see my doctor. I got, so I got, I went to what's called an ENT specialist. ENT specialists are doctors that certify in hearing. Cause you know, the ring in there. So I go to the ENT, I've seen this doctor. Matter of fact, this was yesterday. Okay. And he put the thing in my ears and all that stuff. And he was like, He's like, I knew I had a lot of wax in my ears, but I cleaned it out. He's like, I was like, he's like, yeah, I could see you did a good job of cleaning the wax. And I was like, so what? What's what's the thing? And he was like, he's like, he's like, basically, sometimes you'll have wax there, and the wax can can cause a slight infection, increasing the fluids. And he was like, all right, just take this. Um, write a prescription for me. Take this uh, for for five days. Take um, ten drop, five drops, four drops, morning, evening. And he said the, the ring in the ear will go away on its own slowly um, to treat the infection. But you know, when I seen the doctor yesterday, the infection probably was almost gone because he said it's slight, you didn't see anything. But he gave me the prescription. So you know what? I said, all right, I'll take this prescription. I'm show you how your higher self work. I'm going to take this prescription. The first place I go to take this prescription to get it filled was Walgreens. So I go into Walgreens with the prescription and I get to the pharmacist and I said, here, the pharmacist says, we don't have this prescription. I'm like, what? It's like, what the heck? How come you don't have this prescription? It's a pharmacy. So I said, like, okay, no problem. So I said, I'll go to Publix. Go to Publix. They don't have the prescription. He said, man, sorry, I don't care. We don't have that. It's like, what? Why do two places don't have the prescription? All right, so I'll go, to, okay, okay, they were CVS. So I'll go to CVS. They have the prescription. They feel the prescription. So I got home. So I'm getting ready to take this eardrop in my ear. And the voice just said to me, Man, before you take this eardrop, man, you need to look up this prescription. So I go on the internet, and I looked up this prescription, man. And you know one of the side effects of this prescription is? If I took this, there was a possibility I will, it will damage what's called my cochlea. And I'll have hearing loss permanently. Oh, that's not the only side effect. It could increase the tetanus, the ringing in my ear, even ten times worse. I was like, okay, I backtrack. Like, that's what my higher self was warning me. That's why they didn't have it. I should have picked it up from the first time. If they don't have it, that's why I always teach. I said, when things are moving good, it's in your favor. But when you meet resistance, leave it alone. Remember, I went to the Walgreens, they didn't have it. I went to the public, see, I pushed, they didn't have it. I went to Wal the other, they didn't have it, but my higher self kept pushing me. And I read that warning and I opened the prescription and I opened the drops and I read it. I forgot the name, it's called Cochlein something. But I read it, there it is in the deep warning. Warning, this prescription can cause permanent hair loss. 
to just remove some bacteria. I didn't take that, man. I threw it down. No, I just I go the natural way. Air infection usually clears up on its own, anyways. So I was like, no, nah, I ain't doing that. Yeah, you get ringing right here, but it was a ringing. It's when you have an ear infection, you're gonna get a ringing all the time. I mean, there's a low ringing. It's at night, but at night it's gonna be more effective because it's quiet, so you hear it a lot, so it can kind of disturb your sleep. And I say what ear infection does. But that was my ISF warning me, man. Mark, do not take that. Those are things that I'm gonna show you how your higher self work in pattern. See that? Look again. I went to the pharmacy. They didn't have it. That was the first clue my higher self saying, Mark, they don't have it. That means don't get it public they don't have it okay because look if it was meant for me to take that prescription the first place I go to they'd have it that's what I said it would be criminal to prescribe it and I, I looked up online and I was like I look at all the reviews man and they were saying how could the FDA whatever allow someone to make a prescription that has the possibility as a side effect even though it's rare it's like to make you deaf think about that guys This, this, listen, this prescription, some of the side effects, man, it'll stop your breathing, make your difficulty breathing. It'll give you vertigo. It'll give you tinnitus permanently. And I read someone that took it. That Man, this was, they, they had a forum on this prescription that people were taking this. And instead of curing them, it gave them, made the tetanus more, the ringing the ear more louder. You think I was going to take that stuff? I looked at the bottle, I put it down, I was like, oh, I'm fine. I'll let this do its own. I'll cure it on its own. It'll, have, it'll, it'll cure itself. Whatever. I'll find a way. See that? Because they make money off of it. Yeah. I took antibiotics last year for that. Yeah, guys, you see what I'm saying to you? So that's, someone asked me about the higher self. That's how the higher self work. It'll give you, show you signs and patterns, but you have to be aware to watch them. It's a good thing that my higher self just kept, I mean, you know, I was going to look up, look up the ingredients and the side effects before I took it anyway, but I just looked back in retrospect. I was like, no wonder when I went to the first pharmacy, they didn't have it. it means I shouldn't have gotten that. The second pharmacy didn't have it. I should have took that sign and went home. I was like, no wonder, Mark. You, if you took that, man, you probably know what would have happened. You probably would have got ten times worse. See how it works? Sim simple solutions work better, right? Thanks so much. I was in Publix yesterday and was about to get sushi. And son says out loud, doesn't that cause food poisoning? He's only 13. See, that's higher, your son says that. It's a higher self talking to you. Now, now you guys are getting it. Do we all have higher, different higher selves, or is it same? We all have different higher selves because our, our consciousness is fractal and is tuned to us only. So your higher self is tuned directly to you. Thank you for the tip, ten dollars. Thank you guys. Thank you, Aisha. Yes. Yeah. So it's it's the little things like that, guys. I'm showing you how you're not in this dimension you see what i'm saying and i couldn't believe it. i was like my goodness man how could they prescribe and you know the doctor the doctor was like i had to he told me i had to take four drops of that thing twice a day four in this ear four in that ear I'm like you crazy and the, the warning says prolonged use of this can lead to permanent hair loss and hair damage that means the thing i'm supposed to take to help the antibiotics for the ear infection is a thing that could mess up my life total hair loss or even giving tinnitus makes it even 10 times worse whatever it is. think about that so I consider that a blessing in disguise and this is the same thing that happened right now with this channel all that it's a blessing in disguise guys because everything happens for you not to you so I that's what I do but I want to encourage you guys that this video title is don't let anybody stop you from doing your dreams they're gonna be haters they're gonna bring stuff up about you but you, if you know you're doing your thing, just do your thing. And just tell them, unsubscribe, man. Leave, go, go do your thing. Take your energy and put it into something else. Because you're not going to get what you're putting out.
to someone that's doing their, doing their purpose. It doesn't work that way. Remember, guys, when you're spiritual, you're protected. Right? Remember that, guys. You're protected. So don't let anyone put you down. And keep going. And I'll see you guys again. It's next time.